Hi guys, let us study some of the more types of the different milling operations. Angular milling. Well, this is a milling operation of producing all types of angular cuts such as V notches, grooves, etc. The angle cutter will have peripheral teeth. The single angle cutters are arranged on one side to produce a chamfer on the workpiece edge. Double angle cutters are arranged on both sides of the cutter and hence can produce double angle cuts such as V notches. Form milling. Well, this is the operation of producing curved profiles with a variety of shapes such as concave, convex, spline, etc. This is done using cutters whose edge is shaped to produce a spherical configuration. This cutter is known as form mill and has its teeth on the periphery. Straddle milling. Well, this is the operation in which a pair of side milling cutters is used for machining two parallel vertical surfaces simultaneously. The milling cutter will have the cutting edge on one or both sides as well as on the periphery. This is accomplished by mounting two side milling cutters on the same arbor set at a distance apart. Gang milling. Well, this is an operation in which two or more cutters are mounted on the same arbor so that different profiles required on the workpiece can be machined simultaneously in a single pass. Next, we study about the different classifications of the milling machines. Milling machines are mainly classified into four types. Column and knee milling machines. Well, these are so named because they are distinguishedly characterized by the two principal parts, column and knee. They are the most commonly used machines for general purpose milling. It is further classified into plain column and knee type milling machine, universal column and knee type milling machine, ram type milling machine. The plain column and knee type milling machine is further classified into horizontal spindle type and vertical spindle type. Next, the bed type milling machine. In these type of machines, the work table is supported directly by a heavy bed. Hence, this can be used to make heavy cuts in workpieces. These type of machines are further classified into fixed bed type milling machine, rotary table milling machine and drum type milling machine. The third type is the planar type milling machine. These type of machines are similar to that of the bed time machines and are used for large and heavy work. Here they are equipped with several spindle heads and cutters for machining various surfaces with a single setup. Next, the special purpose milling machines. Well, these milling machines are used to accomplish specific kinds of tasks such as helical cutting, threading, etc. These are further classified into tracer control milling machines, thread milling machines, CNC milling machines, and TV milling machines. Thank you. Wow, that's impressive. You have completed a magic today. For more videos, subscribe. Join our Facebook group and Instagram page for group discussion and live magazine videos for exam preparation in an hour. We start at class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages. If you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation, then please join us by visiting classfly.n.